Good morning and thank you for your patience. In the past few weeks, everyone here has been seeing faces all across campus. In the halls, the library, the football games, maybe in your class. Please give a big hand as I present your 2019 Mountain Shore Presidential Candidates. First, to the podium with the most scholastic practice hours clocked in and the sole member of the debate team, please welcome Eugene Vanderbrook. Good day, my Mountain Shore cohorts. I hope you've all had a swell election season as the time for balloting draws near. And I hope you've used this time to ponder the past year, and I hope you see exactly what I see. Dissatisfaction! Next up, and voted Mountain Shore's most adorable smile. He's throwing the most yards and looking towards the state championship. Please, a big hand for Trip Fowler the Fourth. <laughs> I, Trip Boyd Fowler the Fourth. Next to the podium, she leads the choir team and volunteers part time at the local animal shelter. Please give it up for Mary Ann Paisley. Hello again. I'd like to say it's such a joy to see each one of your beautiful faces. Sadly, I don't see many smiles, and dentists cost too much to have a frown. So what can we do to get those chompers to come out and shine again? And your last candidate. His two favorite subjects are early childhood and coding. He has perfect attendance. So please, a big hand for Leonard Chi. Uh, hello, I'm Leonard Chi, but you probably already know that thanks to the introduction. I would apologize for this thing taking up your time, but you, you guys are missing class, so you're welcome. This place, this swamp, I'll have you know we are now at a B plus school after this past rating period. We are now at an 88% school, and I seem to be the only one that is upset about it. I love this place. I wouldn't take it home or anything, but maybe on a joyride or two. Big changes are coming, people, and I wrote all of them down right here. Maybe a vacation? I urge every club to have at least one mandatory club field trip per semester. It keeps everyone happy and engaged. We love a two for one. A student should reflect the high school it puts out. A high school student should reflect the students it puts out. So why, why doesn't it? Why is there gum at the desk? Do we have to drop 24 more letters before studying exists again? To accommodate this matter, I propose the studious sheet used to track the weekly hours of study for a student. Given enrollment, a student will be required to complete 20 hours of study weekly, not including your homework. Homework hours and study hours are two separate entities. First on the list, a bigger trophy case. I'm gonna be your next year, so you might as well get a head start, right? And uh, at the games, more moves for the cheerleaders, like more than just traffic lately. Please. I propose an extra 100 bucks in the school's assembly fund. How are we supposed to get excited about coming back from school with only 15 balloons and four streamers hung up? There's no gum under me. And there's no gum under you. Well, is there? Likewise, there will be a bathroom break limit of three times a week. Your bladder should not be completing more work than your brain. And for badminton, okay. They need to start letting us walk through their courts. You need more than six people on the team to start claiming territory, all right? And free ice cream sandwiches if you score 90% or higher on your midterm, because you work courses are a little cooled down after all that galloping. I believe that I am the most fit for office because I work for the people. My hands are still cramping from tidying up all those study sheets, 
but it was a sacrifice that had to be made. And uh, I will push for and attend several student events, whether it be student parties or... I will push for more student parties uh, and a parade after every game we win, even if it's against the bench warmer teams, all right? And Fowler Friday! I also think that I'm the most passionate candidate due to the time I spent at uh, the animal shelter. Getting to care for those treasures, I... Excuse me, I... I've seen miracles. I will personally go around and scrape all the gum from under the desk. It's the least I could do for such a fair, honest group of people like yourself. So, so please, join me in helping make this undergrowth of a school flourish so that we can all attend a mountain shore we can tolerate. Guys, I guess what I'm trying to say is that this will not be a presidency, no. This will be a legacy. Now cast your vote and join your foul king. Woo! That bird came in with one wing reaching for the stars and one searching for the worms. Then in four days' time, it flapped them both and flew right out. I may not be a miracle worker, and I may not be able to fix any wings, but if you vote for Paisley, I can guarantee I won't stop until I see you fly. Thank you. <laughs> so please, when you think of Chi, think, think of we. Please give our candidates another big round of applause. Good luck to you all. A monarch, a pacifist, and a mic check. Dang, Quincy, not one for holding punches. No, I try. Just gotta lose grip. Well, remember, you're a news writer, not a prize fighter. And how would you know? You can't tell. I can tell. <laughs> Egg's never any fun. And be sure to get some more substantial stories. And what do you consider substance in a story, Ed? Varsity nose picker? Not substantial. Did you read it? He was digging in there for like three minutes. And the end result, I must say. This. Not this. That. Not that. Got it. And it is campaign season, you know. Groups could be stirring up some commotion, so be sure to keep an eye out. Out of which socket? <sighs> there goes joke five. The comedy stylings of Edward Andres. Don't worry, he'll be here all semester. Yep, and just like that, back to work. Oh no, here comes Quincy. Oh, watch out, Quincy's coming. All I hear, every single thing, no respect. I can already see the articles coming. The best mountain sure has ever got written. And the name under every article, Quincy Canary. Oh yeah, I can see it. Oh, yeah. <sighs> now I'm sure. Well, first up, Eugene Harold Vanderbrook can solve any equation quicker than everybody else and can get under your skin even quicker. In all honesty, I am kind of excited to do a sit-down interview with the man. Oh, that means I have to talk to him. Ah, uh. uh, Quincy Canary, the buffoon who got a hold of a camera. Good morning to you too, like Eugene. Um, and speaking of buffoon, do you mind to talk about that presidential debate you had yesterday? I'm actually unavailable at the moment. Is this some exclusive test or something? No, I'm merely studying for an examination that I have in fourth period. And I need to score highly on it, so I would wish to focus on my you studies. can't do one at a time? A question and answer, a question and answer. We can alternate. I'd rather guarantee my success on this upcoming test. Hmm. A potential president who can't focus on two things at once. He can shoulder the A, but can he shoulder it all? Yeah, that's a headline. 
you, Ant. So, what do you think about the other candidates running up against? Do they match up to you? No, I do not think that an ogre, Snow White, and a Muppet match up to me. <laughs> so I assume I don't have to ask how close you think the race is going to be. Correct. You know, how about we talk about you? Fine idea. How does it feel to be one of the brightest minds on Mountain Shore? Being the greatest minded mountain shore is an honor that I've woefully deserved and humbly accepted. <sighs> My actions do justify- One of. One of the greatest. Sorry if I bursted your bubble, but I just wanted to make sure that was straight. Do you want your story, or do you want a blank cover? I am salutatorian. I am a scholar. I will be- Salutatorian. Second place. If you want to talk first, I'm a valedictorian. That's a, whole, that's a whole different conversation. But while we're talking about it- what do you think about Dane? Dane Hazelt is an outstanding academic and has an intelligence that I can bear to respect. Got it. Now, Quincy, can... I have allotted all the time I can. I must return to my studies. You already have your story. That's fine. I actually got two stories. One with the running president and the second with the entirety of the debate. You have a nice day. I don't even blame him for being upset. All the studying, the writing, the reviewing, all for what? A silver medal. Almost makes you feel sorry for the man. Next up, someone a little more cheerful. In fact, too cheerful. That beloved blonde, that fan favorite, that enigma. The star of the century, Marianne Paisley. Everybody has a mark, a doodle, a scribble. But no, her page is completely blank. Just a clean, plain, blank white sheet. And I cannot work with blank. The people want a story. But this story, no conflict or plot. Just triumph. And those books never sell. So sorry, Paisley. But I'm going to move on. Try to find the next bestseller. Trip Boyd Fowler the Fourth. I've photographically denounced that man many times. And despite the headlines I may write, he really may not be that bad of a go- Hey Fowler! Well, if it isn't the photography freak. A photography freak and a small simpleton. Look, I was just wondering if I could get some answers to some questions about- Camera car. So can I ask you about- <laughs> Lens cap Larry. So can I please ask you- Snapshot Sammy. Listen here, juvenile jacket Jerry. This is for the paper. And if you're running for president, you're gonna wanna be in the paper. So please. So, I ask you these questions. Shoot. So when you're spewing up there by the podium, what did you mean when you said this is going to be a legacy? You already said the answer earlier. Juvenile Jacket Jerry? No. No, the answer is Fowler. You care to expound upon that? No, I do not. The Fowler legacy. Impatience. All right, get your pencil ready, because I'm only going to say this once. I am Trip Boyd Fowler the Fourth. This is my fourth time doing this. Doing what? Existing. This is my fourth life. The first, I owned whole oceans. The second, I was governing city-states. The third, I ran a booming enterprise. And the fourth, well, only time will tell, but I know I'm starting here. You got your story. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Fowler the Fantastic. Ooh, calm down, calm down, Quincy. It's for the paper. You got work to do. And finally, ugh, Leonard Chi. Is this even going to be worthwhile? Does he do anything interesting? Oh, sorry, sorry. Can't say I'm surprised. That'll do.
that fraud, that hypocrite, that crook. He has everybody at this school fooled. And you just want to keep this information to yourself? And this really happened? Yes! Ed saw it! Right, Ed? It happened. See? So you've told me twice now that one of the top scorers in our district who has never gotten anything less than a B plus took some other student's test and threw it yes, away. Look guys, I'm gonna make this plain and brief. I read the paper. I know what you two do every day. Every other day, a new group is on blast with some ridiculous story, but I allow it because it's innocent. But he did it! He forged it on a blank test, a fresh sheet. A fresh sheet! Or a fresh headline. You see the problem? I can't even tell anymore. And this is not getting out until I know that this isn't just another crazy TMZ exclusive story. So if we can prove it, then can we release it? If you can prove without a shadow of a doubt, if you can convince me beyond a shadow of a doubt that he sabotaged another student's opportunity, then we will make sure he gets what he deserves. And he deserves it. Right, Ed? Indeed. He shall receive it all. All the wrath! Thank you, ma'am. Do you have a trash can? I'm headed to lunch. Now, how can you head to lunch when you have the biggest controversy of Mountain Shore afoot and the biggest headline just waiting for us? It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday? the century wears a gold wig. Got lucky with that last one. Need to start planning these things out more. Luckily the help plan I have Ed. He answered the call. And boy do I owe him one. You to watch? Can't say I'm surprised. A lot of people would love to be in your position right about now, you know? If there's a sign that you line it up, And I mean everyone, every cheerleader, every dancer, everyone would be coming to flock into foul. Wouldn't expect you to understand anyway. You can manage a freshman. turn Ed into a leaking bruise. Noble man, Ed. A noble man. Yeah. Well, he'll leak too. They'll all leak. This next issue, your discretion is advised. Oh, would you look at her. My masterpiece, my portrait. As if Da Vinci drilled every letter by himself. He did not. She didn't. He couldn't. <laughs> There's beauty in the truth. Oh, just look at him. What a sight. Trembling. Whimpering. Coming to the realization that kingdoms will fall and heads will roll. Man, for 
got my popcorn. They rounded up these insects pretty quick, too. I guess it wasn't too hard, though. Once Daniel read the paper, he went straight to Eugene and then straight to the front office. And ooh, he let her have it. He definitely proved his point, without a shadow of a doubt. How could you? I trusted you. How could you? I, I didn't mean to spit the gum on the sidewalk. I really didn't mean that. And the worms, I, I, I let them escape because they have souls too. Like, hey, please, you would understand too, right? Like, you, it, the book, the book, I, it was so enveloping. I didn't mean to go into the girls' restroom. Sit like, down, Mr. Chi. Okay. <clears throat> the brightest minds of Mountain Shore. I have something to say to you. The events that occurred will forever live in infamy, but they will not define us. And as Mountain Shore's new school president, I will be sure to bring back honor to our beloved school. Enough conflict, enough wrong, enough gum. And remember, when you think of Chi, Think of wing! <laughs> There's a new story, a new group on cut that. <laughs> And there's certainly no gum under you. Well, is there? Oh, no, no, wait, yeah, yeah. I have no like idea. Like, on the side of him. Drow? <laughs> it's gotta be me. <laughs> Who else could it be? I mean, what to see? <laughs> but I will not allow you to deface the integrity of the bright minds of Mountain Shore. This could put all his hard work to waste. That is not the line, but... See the problem? I can't even tell anymore. Cut that one. <laughs> what? what do you mean blow into your eye? Oh no, are you serious? <laughs> Vote for Paisley for student body president. That was good. Good job. Wow. Yeah, you look, at this, look at this woman. <laughs> Wait, you look like Maisie Williams. Coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop. Excuse me, I've seen miracles. Can you save? Can you save my? Can you save my heavy, dirty soul? Can you save? Cut. Only the Life Lord gets covered, and Alex just What the- <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs>